Uh, my name is Boy Heugert and uh, I work as a long-term oil and coal analyst for E.ON UK and uh, which is a power company in, in the UK. Well my job entails trying to understand what the oil and coal market will do uh, in the future and inform um, my managers on that and uh, so it's, it's analysing the development of costs uh, currently uh, in, in the short shorter term, three to five years, and then looking at how energy demand in general is going to develop um, in the world. So it's, it's very much a big picture job and it's fantastically interesting. I'm originally from the Faroe Islands. Uh, I've studied in Scotland for seven years, um, six years, sorry, and I've, uh, I've lived here in England for two and a half years. Well, when I was seven years old, I was more interested in learning how to read and, and write and, and I, I suppose, mental pursuits rather than playing football. Having, having my dad repeatedly uh, quiz me on the capitals of Europe, for example, was a, a pastime. I've always wanted to know things. I'd never been to Scotland before or the UK before I started university, no. It was, I knew of it from, from TV, from recommendations, and one thing that did help was that there was a small group of, of various people already living here. So I, I got in touch with them to, to ease the transition, but after, you, you lose touch after a while because you do assimilate and you do become part of society. So When I went to university I picked economics as my main subject. Um, we had to pick three main subjects in the beginning, in, this is in Scotland, so in an honour system. And I picked economics because that's when I, where I came from. I worked in a bank for two years, but I also did international relations and politics. So maybe more away from the transaction, you know, pure finance, and going into political motivation. So why do people do what they do and why do they want what they want? And international relations is just taking that one step over and why do countries do what they do? And so it, it's, I suppose, understanding the interactions. I realised when I came out uh, with my degree that um, it was too general and uh, it, I couldn't use it for as much as I thought. I did take a year out working as a, a business consultant in the Ferris for, for a year and then came back and did my Masters in Finance and Investment, which was much more of a focused how do hedge funds invest? What is the tax implication of investing and things like that. I got two job offers when I finished, before, or before I finished, and that was even through a very simple, I put my CV on monster.com and it worked. I got two phone calls, one from Slumberger, uh, which is an uh, offshore company, and I, based in Aberdeen, and I thought I was going to become a management accountant and that was it. And then I got a phone call from Eon with better terms and conditions and a warmer climate and uh, off I went. I think my, my biggest driver would be um, to be able to say to my parents that I've got my own house. I think that, that's one big uh, step. And also to, to make them proud of me, yeah? to show people that I, that I, where I came from that I, I, did, I did well. If I could do anything, and, and this is one of my personal uh, objectives, Sad as it might sound, I would like to go into space. I would like to be the first Faroese person going into space. So as soon as I make $25 million or however much is going at the moment, off I go.